inflation, both by rising and setting, the sun decreases the duration of life of everyone, except one who utilizes the time by discussing topics of the all-good personality of Godhead. So, we did part one. Uh, this verse indirectly confirms the greater importance of utilizing the human form of life to realize our lost relationship with the Supreme Lord by acceleration of devotional service. Time and tide wait for no man. So the time indicated by the sunrise and the sunset will be uselessly wasted if such time is not properly utilized for realizing identification of spiritual values. Even a fraction of the duration of life wasted cannot be compensated by any amount of gold. Human life is simply awarded to a living entity, jiva, so he can realize his spiritual identity and his permanent source of happiness. A living being, especially the human being, is seeking happiness because happiness is the natural situation of the living entity. But he is vainly seeking happiness in the material atmosphere. A living being is constitutionally a spiritual spark of the complete whole, and his happiness can be perfectly perceived in spiritual activities. The Lord is the complete spirit whole, and his name, form, quality, pastimes, entourage, and personality are all identical with him. Once a person comes into contact with any one of the above-mentioned energies of the Lord through the proper channel of devotional service, the door of perfection is immediately opened. In the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord has explained such contact in the following words. Endeavors in devotional service are never baffled, nor is there failure. A slight beginning of such activities is sufficient even to deliver a person, sufficient even to deliver a person from the great ocean of material fears. Bhagavad Gita 240. As a highly potent drug injected intravenously acts at once on the whole body, Similarly, the transcendental topics of the Lord, injected through the ear of the pure devotee of the Lord, can act very efficiently. Oral realization of the transcendental messages implies total realization, just as fructification of one part of a tree implies fructification of all other parts. This realization, for a moment, in the association of pure devotees, like Shukadev Goswami, prepares one's complete life for eternity. And as such, the sun fails to rob the pure devotee of his duration of life inasmuch as he is constantly busy in the devotional service of the Lord, purifying his existence. Death is a symptom of the material infection of the eternal living being. And due to material infection only, the eternal living being is subjected to the law of birth, death, old age, and disease. The materialistic way of pious activities, like charity, etc., is recommended in the Smriti Shastras, as quoted by Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur. Money given in charity to a suitable person is guaranteed bank balance in the next life. Such charity is recommended to be given to a Brahmin. If the money is given in charity to a non-Brahmana without Brahminical qualification, the money is returned in the next life in the same proportion. If it is given in charity to a half-educated Brahmana, even then the money is returned double. If the money is given in charity to a learned and fully qualified brahmana, the money is returned a hundred and thousand times. And if the money is given to a Veda paraka, one who has actually realized the path of the Vedas, it is returned by unlimited multiplication. The ultimate end of Vedic knowledge is to realize the personality of Godhead, Lord Krishna, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Vedaishya Saravayaraham Eva Vedyo. There is a guarantee of money being returned if given in charity, regardless of the proportion. Similarly, a moment passed in the association of a pure devotee by hearing and chanting the transcendental messages of the Lord is a perfect guarantee for eternal life for returning home back to Godhead. In other words, a devotee of the Lord is guaranteed eternal life. A devotee's old age or disease in the present life is but an impetus to such guaranteed eternal life. <clears throat> so, Ayurharati Vai Pumsha, these sun signs, sunrise and sunset means a decreasing our life. 
it is very nice example. The son's business is to take away a portion of your span of life. That is business. But he cannot take away the portion of the life of a devotee. <clears throat> because a, a devotee is going to leave. Uh, this Krishna consciousness movement is to give a living entity a permanent span of life. Uttama sloka bhartaya. Uttama sloka is Krishna. Uttama sloka bhakti bhavati na ishtiki uttama sloka bhagavati uttama sloka. In another place it is stated. Tada nasta prayesu abhadresu nasta prayesu abhadresu nittang bhagavata sevaya. Uh, nittam, just like we are holding class daily, nittam, regularly. Nittam means regularly, daily, always. So, nittam bhagavata sivaya, the beginning, uh, just like when a man is infected with a disease, he is subjected to death. Crude example. So when a man falls diseased, uh, the physician tries to get him relieved from that infection. So our material body is an infection. Actually, we spiritual soul, we have no death. It is due to this infection. Uh, in this infection is called Dirty things. Actually, it is dirt. Dust thou art, dust thou be. That's a fact. Uh, <clears throat> because as soon as I, the soul, will leave this body, it will be immediately decomposed, and after a few days, it will be earth, dust. So, actually, it is dirt. Uh, so, we have to cleanse this dark from my real identity, spiritual identity. This is the process. And this cleansing process is very uh, nicely done simply by hearing the message of Uttama Sloka or Krishna. Uh, you haven't got to scratch it with some machine, no. Uh, it will be automatically cleansed if you simply give oral reception to the uh, message of the Uttama Sloka, which is, in other words, it is called Krishna Katha. Uh, the Krishna Katha means words of Krishna. Katha means words, and Krishna you understand. The Krishna Katha, Bhagavad Gita, Krishna personally giving you words of instruction. So if we simply read Bhagavad Gita, then the sun cannot take away the my duration of life. How? What is the proof? The proof is the Bhagavad Gita. In the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord says, Janma karma me dipam jo janati tattata. Anyone who understands about my birth and appearance, huh? Lord he does not take birth. Ajo. Ajo means who never takes birth ever existing. Ajopi san abhyatma bhūtānāmiśya-rūpi san sammāmi-yugi-yugi. So 
Although one who does not take bath, but still we see the Krishna is taking bath. We are observing the birth anniversary of Lord Krishna. So therefore, what is the mystery? He does not take birth. Still, we are observing the birth anniversary of Krishna, Janmāṣṭhā. So this is to be understood. Tattata, in truth. Jo jānāti tattā. Krishna says, Vedā says that the Supreme Lord, God, has nothing to do. Why He shall do? So, and again we see that Krishna, since the day of His appearance at His maternal uncle's prison, till to His going back to his own home. He was uh, always active. Active mainly, especially in killing the demons. But uh, such demons could be killed without the presence of uh, the Supreme Personality of God. If there is little earthquake, Millions of demons can be killed. It is not very difficult job. If the Pacific Ocean overfloods this city, millions of people can be killed. If there is a war, millions of people can be killed. If there is epidemic, Millions of men can be killed. So killing uh, the demons, uh, for that purpose he does not come, Krishna. There are Krishna's many agents, uh, and they can kill such demons without any difficulty. But he comes, paritrāna sādhuna, just like Lord Nishinga appeared, not to kill the demon Hiranyakasipi. He could be killed otherwise. But he appeared for Prahlad. Prahlad Maharaj, he was being so much teased and so much tortured, he could not tolerate it. So he wanted to show his devotee that I shall kill your torturer before you. That is the purpose. So he did not appear for killing Hiranyakasipi. He appeared to give uh, encouragement to Prahlad Maharaj as he says, Kaunteya Pratijani hi name bhakta pranasati. Uh, he asked Arjuna to declare, my dear Arjuna, you declare that my devotee will never be thanked. So therefore he comes. So these are the understanding of the Supreme Personality of Godhead in Tattva. So if we discuss about Krishna Katha, the words of Krishna, there are two books, words of Krishna, one Bhagavad Gita. Every Vedic literature is Krishna Katha, but these two books especially, Krishna Katha. Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is directly speaking, and Srimad Bhagavatam directly speaking about Krishna. Both of them are Krishna. So therefore here it is said, Uttama Sloko Bhartaya. Bharta means message, words. See, if we pass our time uh, simply uh, by reading and talking about Krishna, then the sun will not be able to take away uh, our life. This is the secret. If you want to become immortal, uh, then you always be engaged in Krishna-kārta. 
always, twenty-four hours, always think of Krishna. This is Krishna consciousness. Uh, so everyone is dying, but those who are engaged in Krishna katha, in Krishna consciousness, they are busy in Krishna's business. They are not dying. They are living. Uh, how? <coughs> because ordinary man, if his duration of life, span of life is being taken away by the sun, sun, sun rising and sunset every day. Uh, if a man is fifty years old, that means he has to live for eighty years. So fifty years duration has already been taken away by the sun. Fifty years old means that fifty years of time has already been taken away by the sun. It will never come back. But what about the devotees? He is also the same. He is also life is being taken away. No. His life is not being taken away because he is going to leave. Superficially we see that the body of a devotee is also taken away. But this is not the real body. Real body is the spiritual body. The spiritual body, just like Krishna says, takta deham punarjanma naiti māmeti, after giving up this body, uh, he does not take birth, he comes to me. So he has, now the body is given up. Then how he goes? He says, he comes to me. So who comes to him? Materialistic person, the so-called scientist, pleasure, they know this body, this cell. They do not know that the body is the cover of the cell. This real cell, the real person goes to Krishna to live forever. So those who are devotees, those who are in Krishna consciousness, they are giving up this infected body and they are getting their new, not new, the old original body, spiritual body. Therefore, as soon as you get the spiritual body, the sun has no power to take it away. That is explained in the Bhagavad Gita that the fire cannot burn it, the weapon cannot kill it, the water cannot moist it in so many ways, indirect way, that describe. The spirit cannot be destroyed by anything material. Matter, just like this body is matter, his body can be cut into pieces, but the spirit soul cannot be. The body can be burned into ashes, but the spirit soul cannot be. Uh, 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 so, Hmm. The modern scientists, they say that there is no life in the sun planet, sun globe. Well, that is not a fact. <coughs> what is sun globe? It is a fiery planet, that's all. But the spirit soul can live in the fire and he gets a fiery body. Just like here in, on this planet, on earth, we have got this earthly body. Uh, it may be very beautiful, but it is earth. Uh, simply by nature's uh, manipulation. Just like we are coming, uh, Karanda showed me the plastic, some trees. So they have made the plastic trees exactly resembling the tree, but it is not tree. Uh, Similarly, this body is as good as the plastic body. It has no value. So, takta deham, 
So Hari Krishna says that after giving up this body, but this body is plastic body, just like you have got cotton shirt or plastic shirt or so many, you can give it up. That doesn't mean you die. That is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhashangsi Jinnani, Jathab Yahaya. As one uh, gives a old garment for a new one. Similarly, death means to give up this plastic body and take another plastic body. Uh, that is death. And again, under that plastic body, you have to work. If you get a nice body, then you can work nicely. If you get a dog's body, then you act like dog, according to body. So takta deham, Krishna says, that anyone who understands me in truth, the how you will understand? Simply if you hear about him, then you will understand. Uh, then you will understand. So hearing is not very difficult job, but you must hear from the realized soul. That is, satāṁ prasaṅgā mamo vīrja saṅgvidā. If you hear from a professional man, that will not be affecting. Hearing must be from sādhu, from devote, from the lips of the devote. Just like Sukhdev Goswami was speaking to Maharaj Parikhit. So, or even if you hear yourself, you read books, you will save your life. If you simply read Krishna book or Bhagavad Gita or teachings of Lord Chaitanya, then you know the as long as you are reading, uh, the sun is unable to take your life. It is not possible for the sun to take your life. So if you constantly read, then where is the opportunity of suns taking your life? That means you are becoming immortal. People are very much anxious to become immortal. Nobody uh, wants to die. Uh, everyone uh, knows that I shall die. But if there is immediately some danger, fire, uh, immediately go away from this room. Why? I do not wish to die. I do not wish to die. Although I know I must have to die. It's still I, why do I go away? I know that I will let there be fire. I have to die today or tomorrow. Let me die. No, I do not wish to die. Therefore I go away. This is psychology. So everyone wants to live forever. That's a fact. So if you want to live forever, then you have to take to Krishna consciousness. So Krishna consciousness movement is so important and nice. Everyone wants to live. So actually if you want to live, then you take to Krishna consciousness. This verse confirms it. Ayur harati bhai pungsa uddhanna sancha janna so. The sun is rising early in the morning. As it is rising, gradually it is taking your life. That's all. That is the business. But if you want to defeat Krishna, uh, the sun, uh, sun is very powerful. It is very difficult to fight, but you can fight with the sun. How? Simply by reading Krishna Katha, the words of Krishna. Uttama sloka bhartaya. Bhartaya. Uttama sloka Krishna. So this is the simple process. So don't waste your time by talking nonsense. Uh, therefore, uh, Rupa Goswami has advised Uttyahara Prayasa Sta Prajalpa Niyamagraha Prajalpa. 
अत्याहार प्रयास प्रजल्प नियमाग्रह लौलम जन लौलम जनसंगश्च सरभी भक्ति प्रणश्यति आवर डिवोशनल लाइफ कैन बी फिनिश्ड मीन्स मे बी बैफल दोज वायर इन डिवोशनल लाइफ कृष्ण कॉन्शस दस फॉर्चुनेट दीज फॉर्चून कैन बी रुइन बाय सिक्स थिंग्स बी केयर What is that? Otyahara. Otyahara means eating more than necessity, or collecting more than necessity. Aharan, aharan means collecting. We require to collect some money, but we should not collect more than necessity. That is, because if I get more money, then immediately. Maya will pay. Why don't you spend for me? Yes. So don't uh, collect more than what you require. You collect. Uh, or similarly, ahara means eating. Don't eat more than necessity. Uh, actually, we have to. Come to the point of meal, eating, sleeping, mating, and different, and that is not possible because you have got this body. But minimum. Ah. So otyahara, prayasa, and too much unnecessary spoiling energy. We should not take a great risk, so that we have to. Oh, what for it very uh, seriously? We must accept something which can be easily done. But the other part, prajalpa, and prajalpa means talking nonsense. And so, and this is the nature of the living entity in conditioned state. Just like as soon as the crows, they gather together, crow, 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 crow. The frogs, uh, any living entity, uh, as soon as they will gather, they will talk all nonsense. Don't do that. Uh, we have got great assembly. We have got facility for mixing. But if you take advantage of this assembly and talk all nonsense, what is politics? What is this? What is that? Uh, A prajal, that is called prajal. So, otyaharo prayaso sa prajal po niyamagraha. Niyamagraha means the not accepting the rules and regulation. Another meaning of niyamagraha means simply blindly following the rules and regulation, but he does not know for what he is doing that. Godoli ka prava. It is called godoli ka prava. Uh, everyone is doing this, but he does not understand why he is doing. It. Uh, there are many stories of this godly prabhu. Sometimes I'll tell you. So niyamagraha. So one atyara, two uh, prayas, three prajalpa, and four niyamagraha, and fifth lowlam. Greediness and six, uh, jana sanga. Jana sanga means to uh, associate with ordinary men. Those who have no sense of Krishna consciousness, so-called karmis, gyanis, yogis, they do not understand Krishna or scientists, philosophers. We should not associate with them. Then we know harava bhakta sukuto mahatguna. Anyone who does not understand what is Krishna or what is Krishna's service, he may be very a big man in the ordinary estimation, but we don't give any, any value. Rāva bhakta sakuto mahatguna manorathi na sato dhāvatu bhi because they are mental speculators. They have no value. They have that value in their own way, but according to our 
line of thought. They have no value. Uh, so uh, prajalpa, uh, in this way, prajalpa, there is tendency of talking. You talk of Krishna. That is Krishna consciousness. Uh, that is Krishna consciousness. Just like we assemble together, few friends, uh, we want to vibrate something, just like the child is also vibrating. That is nature. A bird will vibrate, a beast will vibrate. So we have to vibrate the transcendental sound, then we shall be saved uh, from the plundering business of the sun. This is the secret. Uh, all is talk of Krishna, and you must know that you are saving yourself, you are not dying yourself. Uh, because talking of Krishna means we'll understand about Krishna. And Krishna says, anyone who understands me rightly, then after giving up this body, he comes to me. And as soon as you go to him, back to home, back to God, your life is eternal, blissful, and full of knowledge. That is Satchidananda Vigra. So why should we lose this opportunity? <laughs> it is most uh, rascal, uh, rascal person, they give up this. They do not take advantage of this advantage of Krishna Katha. Uh, therefore, Shastra says, smartabhyam satato viṣṇu vismartabhyam na jātuchi. We shall have to uh, remember Vishnu always, uh, everywhere, always. Tasmad Bharata Sarvatma Bhagavan Haridish Smartabhyam Sutabhyam Kirtatabhascha Smartabhancha Nitasa. This is the process of Krishna consciousness. We have to hear about Krishna. We have to chant about Krishna. We have to uh, memorize about Krishna. Uh, we have to worship Krishna. And this is our moment. We are worshiping Krishna in the temple. We are thinking of Him. Uh, we are um, talking about Him. And we are hearing about Him. See, so if we live in this way, it does not require any monetary exchange or any high education, everyone can hear about Krishna. Everyone, after hearing, everyone can talk about Krishna. And while hearing and talking, he can remember about Krishna. And everyone can worship in the temple. What is the difficulty? By prosecuting these four principles of Krishna consciousness, you become immortal. No austerity. No austerity, no parents, no education, no riches. Simply by following these four principles, you become immortal. So this verse is very important. Ayud harati vai Uddanna stancha janna so tassarte jat khano nita. Tassarite, one who is passing time in this way, simply with Krishna call. Chanting also. If you have no time, uh, if you have no spare time, don't sit idly. If there is no facility for reading books or talking about Krishna, chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare. Uh, if you if you have got uh, uh, next moment, you can um, interchange, read something. Uh, always be busy with Krishna. Then sun will not be able to kill you. Uh, you are going to live forever. Uh, this is the process. First time. Good
Very handsome. Very handsome. Very
सर सरसिमा भक्त सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी प्रोवाद की जाय अनंत कोटि वोषण बिंद की जाय नामाचार्य शील हृदय ठाकुर की जाय प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद